Hi, I'm Dan, your instructor at AppStoreSchool.com. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to change the price of an app in the App Store from paid to free. And more importantly, I'm going to talk about why we would want to do that. So first, let's talk about why we would change the app. Okay, short and simple, the reason is marketing. Uh, a, a, a lot more apps get downloaded when they're free. So a free app will get way more downloads than a paid app. And then when, when an app is downloaded, uh, the more it's downloaded, obviously the more it gets used. And in the case of a sticker pack app, which is which is the, the app that we're gonna use in our example here, we're gonna change our sticker pack from paid to free. The more people that use that sticker pack, the more people see it because by virtue of more people having it on their phone, they're going to be sending it out to more people. And, and then from there, the more people that, that see that sticker pack, the chances are higher that uh, they're going to go, um, well, not that, not that the chances are higher, but the, the, the more people that see it, the more are going to go to the store to download it. Okay. I think you get where I'm going here. And, and finally, at the end of the day, the more people that download it, the idea is that because we have potentially a lot of sticker packs in our store, we make some of them free. And the idea is that people will say, hey, this is a cool sticker pack. Let's go see, um, you know, what else um, is for sale by this person. In fact, right there on the App Store, uh, when people download it, uh, Apple shows the other products uh, that are made by that uh, developer. So the idea there is that they'll, they'll be attracted to one of the paid products and that'll in turn uh, generate more sales for that. So let's take a look at how to do that. How is very simple. And we're going to look at an example. Let's take a look at an app in the App Store whose price we want to change. In this case, it's the I Love Dog sticker pack and it's for sale for 99 cents. And even though the app is available only for the iPhone and iPad, like it says here, we can still view the app and the details, including the price here in App Store Preview in our browser. The steps to change it from a price to free are really simple. So let's walk through those steps. The first step is to log in at App Store Connect and, and the address is appstoreconnect.apple.com. And after we enter our login details, it takes us to the App Store Connect homepage for our account. And we want to go to My Apps, which is the very first blue tile there on the top left-hand side. And then when the Apps page is loaded, loads, we want to select the, do the, the app in particular. In this case, it's the I Love Dogs sticker pack that we want to change. So let's check that. And then this takes us to the I Love Dogs sticker pack homepage. This is the page we came to when we created the application and submitted it to the App Store. And, in, and set our initial pricing. In this case here, we're going we're gonna to come back to pricing and availability. We saw this page already when we created the app. So we're going to come back here now. So it's under the general section on the left-hand side. We click pricing and availability. And again, we come to the drop-down where it shows the pricing. So 99 cents is tier one. And again, it goes all the way up to tier 87 for just a penny shy of $1,000 uh, for uh, US dollars. Other currencies, it's the, the equivalent. Uh, in this case here, we're gonna select free, just like that. And the starting date for that is gonna be today, the, the date of this recording, June 17th, 2021, and we won't set any end date for that. So we just all we had to do was come to the drop down, make the one change, and then we click save. And that was it. Our app is now free on the App Store, and hopefully that'll promote more downloads, and the, the more downloads will promote more sales and purchases of the other apps, as well as more people sending stickers in their iMessages, promoting um, the, whole, the whole suite of sticker packs that I have under my account in the Apple App Store. So now we come back to our app in the App Store and refresh. It takes a couple minutes, but when, it, when we do that, we can refresh and see that the app is now free in the App Store. So that we can expect will generate a, a lot more downloads and then market our other apps as we discussed. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan of AppStoreSchool.com. Please visit my YouTube page, App Store School. 
review, and subscribe.